Welcome to today's video. We are on page 39 of the Keyboard Musicianship Book 1. And so we are being introduced to eighth notes. So it moves to 4 as the bottom number. The eighth notes are grouped two to a beat, such as the two with the beam on the top. And so the rhythms we want to clap of eighth notes. Let's go ahead and talk about quarter notes. One, two, three, four. And then the eighth notes subdivide or cut those quarter notes in half, which make one and two and three and four. And that's how we clap and count the eighth notes. Let's go ahead and take a look at our first piece here, Casey Jones. So what we're going to do first is we're going to clap and count the rhythm. Let's go ahead and clap it right here on our lap. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, and two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. One, and two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. One, and two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. So always remember to subdivide only those eighth notes on the appropriate beat. If you need to write in your subdivisions or your counts, please do so with pencil. Next, we're going to go ahead and take a look at our music. We appear to be in C position. If you need to write some fingerings, please do so. Okay, let's go ahead and play and say the finger numbers first. One, two, three, four. Three, one, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, one, three, one, one. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, one. One, two, three, one, two, one, three, one, one, five, four, three, two, one. Now that one there, parallel motion. It requires us to play two different fingerings at the same time. Let's go over our notes. One, two, three, four. A, B, e, G, G, C, D, E, C, D, C, E, G, G, C, D, E, C, D. Also, to apply the correct articulations of legato for these slurs, these appear to be mostly just one measure slurs. So, we also have two different dynamics of mezzo forte and mezzo piano. One more run of Casey Jones. One, two, three, four. So that's all for page 39. Let's take a look now at page number 40. And we're going to be working on another piece here called Bell Bottom Trousers. Let's go ahead and clap and count the rhythm. We are in 2-4 time. Remember the eighth notes are one and. One, two. One, two, and one, two. One, and two, and one, two. One, two, and one, two. One and two and one, two. There we go. So those are the note names. Let's go ahead and clap and say the note names. One, two, ready, go. E, C, C, G, C, E, D, D, C sharp, D, D, B, B, G, B, D, C, C, B, C. Very good. Let's go ahead now. We're going to play and say the note names. Actually, no, we're not going to do the... Yes, we are going to do the finger numbers first. We have our right hand in A position down here, and C position for the left hand. One, two, three, four. Five, three, three, one, three. Five, four, four, three, four. Four, two, two, one, two. Four, three, three, two, three. And then now for the finger, the note names. One, two, three, four. 
E C C G C E G G C sharp T T B B C G B T C C B C. Make sure that you play slurs for those, or play legato for those slurs. Those are two notes, two measure slurs, including the notes in the bottom for the left hand. Let's go through this one piece one more time. Bell bottom trousers forte. One, two, three, four. For those repeated notes or those with an accidental, we want to play those legato as well. The last piece for page 40 is an Austrian song, and let's go ahead and talk about the rhythm. We're going to clap and count the rhythm here on our lap. Ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, and two, three. One, and two, three. One, and two, three. One, two, three. One, and two. Three, one and two, three, one, two, three. So yeah, it sounds very Austrian because of the three, four time. Here we go. Let's go ahead now. Clap and say the note names. One, two, three. A E E E E G G G F F F A G G E E E E G G G F F D C two three. Now for the finger numbers, let's place our hands in their appropriate positions. Two here, and if you need to write the finger numbers, please pause the video now and do so. Fix this camera a little bit. All right, and now let's go ahead and say the finger numbers. Ready? One, two, three. Two, 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 four, four. changes hand positions here. At the beginning we have it in D position, but then for the last two measures our hand position changes to C position. So I want you to take a pencil and circle that note right there, this little part right here, and you want you to put an arrow that says that you go down a hand position. So you're going to do 5, 4, 4, 2, 1 for the right hand, and then of course the left hand, 1, 2, 2, 4, 5. Make sure you write in those fingerings. Let's go ahead and say the note names. One, two, three. E, 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 G, 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 F, 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 A, G, G, E, 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 E G, 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 F, G, G, F, F, D, C, two, three. Release. All notes of forte. So that's for these two pages here. Please practice these steps well, and we'll see you in the next lesson.